May God who has begun this good work in you bring it to fulfillment. In your parish today, you might have done the third scrutiny and the readings appropriate to that. But here at St. Paul's Seminary, we don't have anyone joining the church at Easter. We are already Catholic and part of the faith. So for us, our scripture today, most specifically our gospel, came from John, John's gospel from the 12th chapter. And in there, we hear the story of Jesus saying, I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. You know, for those of you that come here in order to learn how to discern with sacred scripture, on this Sunday, what we see is Jesus answering the call of the Father. And for so many of us, what prevents us from moving forward in our own discernment, most especially to the priesthood or the religious life, is simply fear. Do I have enough courage to step outside of the world and the safety I've been building for myself and to step into this world of the church where I need to give up on what I have set aside for myself and trust completely and totally in the Lord. You know, in scripture, we also hear Christ says, whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The hardest part in the journey into seminary or into formation, be it for a, to become a woman religious or a male religious, is that first step overcoming the fear to actually entrust our future into the hands of the Lord. You know, in scripture, we also see the father will honor whoever serves me. Do not let fear obstruct you from taking the next step on your journey. If you're struggling with that decision to discern the will of God, to be a call to the priesthood or a call to the religious life, and it's fear that's holding you back, don't be afraid. We're going to say, John Paul II would say, be not afraid. The Lord will take care of you. If you come to discern the will of God within the confines of the church, be assured that God will wrap his arms around you. The Blessed Mother will support you. Father St. Joseph will support you. You will have so much support and guidance on the way. Today, we see Jesus sort of overcoming his human fear to follow God's plan, and we'll see that played out in the next two weeks. Be not afraid. Do what Christ did and entrust your life to the will of the Father. May God bless you, and may you overcome any fear that's preventing you from embracing your true vocation.